There you are, troublemaker. When Monroe said you left the bonfire, I figured someone needed to come track you down. I found you by following your scent. Even being around all these wolves, you still have a distinct smell. Now, come on. You can't be out of the camp. You don't want to go back yet. <laughs> Fine. Then I guess I'll be joining you out here. Don't mind me. You won't even notice I'm here. Someone has to keep an eye on you, though. You can go back to crying or whatever it was you were doing when I got here. Oh, you weren't crying, huh? You might have gotten used to our eyes glowing. But I think you're forgetting that we can see in the dark, too. If you weren't crying, then you weren't far from it. But hey, like I said... You can go ahead and pretend I'm not even here. <laughs> it's really too bad you don't want me hanging around you right now. You're just gonna have to accept it. You lost your right to privacy when you wandered into the den of wolves, after all. You've been here for a little over a week. Would have thought you would have learned to suck it up by now. Besides, you won't be here for much longer. Your ankle's been healing nicely. And when you can finally walk on that for far enough, we'll take you to Ashwood Grove. I'm guessing you'll be here for another few days. A week, tops. And if you aren't ready to go by then, I'll throw you over my shoulder and carry you into the city myself. <laughs> oh, you don't like that idea. That's too bad. It's what I'm personally hoping for. <laughs> You have to be fucking kidding me. From day one, you knew the deal. You can stay here until your ankle is healed. After that, you aren't our problem. We'll get to part ways as unlikely friends, and you can figure out how to get back through the veil once you're in Ashwood. I'm sure you want to get back to your actual home, after all. <laughs> well, staying here 
isn't an option. I don't give a fuck that you and Monroe have been practically glued at the lips. (laughs) Word travels fast. And you two haven't exactly been subtle. Her scent is all over you. So you can save the embarrassment. I can't help but notice that her scent isn't as strong on you as it usually is. If you two are so close that you're considering to leave everything behind to stay, then why aren't you still at the fire with her, huh? You're out here, all alone. It's just... interesting. Perhaps there's already some trouble in paradise. Maybe you're starting to feel how suffocating it can be to share a space with dozens of others. Maybe what you have here isn't actually enough to make you forget what you had back home. Or, if my original theory is correct, maybe you're out here trying to enact whatever little plan you've devised against us. Whatever it is, a crush isn't a good enough reason for you to stay here. You've got a deadline. That's it. End of story. So, you and Monroe can start saying your goodbyes. (sighs) I don't have a problem with you. Oh, please. Try not to flatter yourself too much. I'm not keeping an eye on you because I want to. You really shouldn't have wandered away from the bonfire and the others. It's not safe without us. (laughs) What? Can't argue with that? That'll be a first from you. (laughs) So what's got you out here, anyways? (laughs) You can say I don't care about you all you want. But it looks to me like you want to talk about it. I was a bartender for a bit in Ashwood while I was getting my EMT certification. I got real good at telling when people needed to talk. And your face says you've got something on your mind. So, what is it? What's brought you out this far away from camp? Makes sense. You're far from home. That kind of shit can wear on a person. The city can probably help you get home. Especially since you don't have any thumb. There's really not any reason for you to want to stay. They'll probably toss you back through the veil where you came from. You know, I still don't get how you got through in the first place. I didn't think it was possible to get through without your own affinity. (laughs) 
Yeah, Monroe did say that you were with a friend when you fell through the veil. But that you ended up alone when she found you in the wraith. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. And I guess it wouldn't be too weird for the two of you to end up in different places if your friend didn't have any control of the abilities. It's certainly a theory. And if that's the case, it means your friend would have ended up here too. It means they might be in Ashwood. Which is just another reason for us to get you to this city as soon as possible. It's possible they ended up in the forest like you. If they have Thom, though, it would make them less likely to encounter too many of the forest inhabitants. Most of them like to stick to easier prey. If you're right, your friend would be a real powerhouse to be able to get you both here. But there are also plenty of monsters out there who like the challenge. <clears throat> You'll find them. jacket. You look like you need it. We'll just, uh, put it around your shoulders. Like this. <laughs> oh. I didn't mean to touch your cheek like that. You okay? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Look, I'm not heartless. I might not trust you, but that doesn't mean I want anything bad to happen to you. No, come on. You don't look like you're gonna cry anymore, and we should really be getting back to the others. Never seen a wolf who smokes before. <laughs> oh, I'll put it out. <laughs> the others don't like it when I do it. Typically, I have to be out here if I don't want one of them to rip me a new one. <laughs> it's fine, though. We'll all be smelling like smoke tonight with the fire going. Yeah, it was a... It's a bad habit. I haven't been able to quit. <laughs> Started when I was working at a bar. The other bartenders would always smoke on their breaks, and... I like the smell of it. Before I knew it, I was doing it too. Drove my mom and sister nuts. I promised them I would quit. But then all this happened. Everyone here gets mad at me for still doing it. Our sense of smell is something else. 
so I get it, but it takes the edge off a bit. So I just can't seem to get myself to stop. Not yet, at least. <laughs> yeah, the, the edge. <laughs> Feels like there's a a humming beneath my skin. Like there's something just below the surface trying to claw its way up. So fucking loud. It's bright. My clothes just feel wrong against my skin. I don't know what it is. Maybe the smell reminds me of what my home was before. Whatever it is, though, it helps. I haven't found anything else that makes me feel grounded, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> there's the light of the fire. You should be heading back to the group. I'll, uh, I'll be along in a bit. Oh, and Troublemaker... Don't tank off that jacket until you're with the others. Understood. <laughs>